Hello guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Ashley here again. And today we are making white rice Ashley style. This is like a, a white rice, kind of Cuban, Puerto Rican, half Mexican style white rice. And let's get over the ingredients. So we're gonna have a little, we're just gonna use one teaspoon of coconut oil, uh, one teaspoon of butter, we're gonna have two cups of rice here, which means we need four cups of water. Um, a little corn just to make it pretty. Cilantro, garlic, onion, give or take that, or cut it really big, and then you can take it out if your family doesn't like onion. And then we have one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, and the chicken bouillon is for that water. Let's get it going. Okay, loves, we're gonna start by taking our chicken bouillon and our garlic powder and we are going to just dissolve that in our little hugo which means juice and if you have um chicken stock you know vegetable stock i like a little tiny tinge of chicken flavor okay that's about the color you're looking for and then we're just going to use this little pot. Make sure you use one that has a lid. You have to have that. And it's going to be on a medium low. Okay, I'm going to let it warm up just a little bit. And we're going to put our butter and our oil. The butter is a secret ingredient. Okay, so. Gonna get, sorry, I look all retarded because I'm only using the pan. Okay, so let that melt. Okay, oops, sorry. So we have our teaspoon of coconut oil. And guys, let me tell y'all. First of all, kids can't be in my videos anymore. Here's the butter, one, one teaspoon. That wasn't quite a teaspoon. Because if kids are in your video, if kids are in your video, you can't get comments. I forgot to show you how I press the garlic. I love garlic, so I don't mind it at all. Some people do, my beautiful sister that has went on to meet her maker how to do this and that's what I do and then I take it out and it's easier to take it out this way and you still get all the flavor okay boom garlic's crushed okay so we're gonna put our two cups of rice in here stirring constantly and rice is tough for me not this one. Mexican rice though, you know, red Mexican rice. I don't know why I can't get it. I don't know why. It's either soggy and tastes amazing or it's perfect textured and don't taste like nothing. Crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and put our onion in. And our beautiful garlics. This this video is for Bobby, my Bobby, my Bobocito. He likes my white rice. So now I'm gonna show you how to make it, my baby. Okay, make sure it's hot, but make sure that you're constantly stirring. We're uh, stirring. We're browning a little bit that helps it get firm and then it also it helps it stay firm to get a little brown on it and you can use a big old pot this is what i do um, and then a lot of keto recipes will be coming soon guys i've been back to keto for about a month and a half but i still cook other things for my kiddos and for you okay so just keep on stirring Keep on stirring. I wish you could smell it. 
smells so good already. And, oh, and I can't taste it. I forgot, we're gonna have to have salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, just a little bit. Make sure y'all don't leave that out. And I'll have to have my daughter taste it because I guess I could taste the juice. I'm on a fast. I don't know if it'll break my fast. I don't think it will. I think I'll be okay to taste the water a little sip. So I wanted to share that I used to use olive oil for everything, right? I cooked with olive oil, love it. Um, I recently, because I'm following this ketogenic diet, uh, discovered that olive oil only heats up to about 300 degrees. And we usually cook at about 350. And so something crazy happens to the olive oil after 300-ish, and it's not good for you. You know that yucky stuff that builds up on the top of your range hood and it takes like the strongest chemicals to clean it off that's what happens inside your body so we don't do that no more but it is still good for you it's good healthy fats so you could just pour it over your already cooked food like i infused for two weeks like a whole head of garlic in olive oil and then i just you know pour a little on my veggies afterwards so i make sure i get my good healthy fats in just wanted to share that but coconut oil psh, you could fry in that thing coconut oil heats up amazingly and it can reach high high heat temps am i talking too much sorry Okay, we're at a nice little tan color. It's not gonna be browned like you would for red Mexican rice. Just kind of multicolored. Hope that zooms in so you can see. Is it? So it's just like a multicolored tan little color. At this point, I'm gonna add in the corn. And the corn is not for anything flavor-wise. It gives it a little sweetness, but the corn is just cause it's pretty, so pretty. And we're gonna add our cilantro. And I just left it in pretty big pieces. Hubby just got home. Hi, husband. Say hi to the people. He said hi, people. And now we're going to add our jugo, which is four cups. Remember? Give it a little stir. We're going to let it simmer for like two minutes, and then we're gonna taste it for salt. Okay, so it's been simmering for about two minutes. Give it a little bit of a stir, and then I'm gonna taste the juice. It should taste garlicky and cilantro-y and just a little bit salty, but not really. It is garlicky, it is cilantro-y. I'm gonna say it needs a little bit more salt. And it's just really a pinch. And a half. <laughs> so half a teaspoon. Let's go with half a teaspoon. Yes, yes. However your water tastes is how your rice is gonna taste. So the flavor that you get here is how your rice is gonna taste maybe a one degree lower than that so maybe over season just a tiny bit that's perfect okay now i'm going to cover it and i'm going to simmer on a medium low for 15 minutes i'm going to bring it up to a, a, a rolling simmer and once it gets there then i'm going to cover it for 15 minutes on a medium low. Got it? 
and I'll show you what I mean by a rolling simmer. That's the little rolling simmer. It's not quite a boil, it's just a simmer. Give it one last taste here for salt. I think it's perfect. And this is the kind of rice you wanna be a little subtle because you can put, you know, chicken over it. You can eat it by itself. Um, you can put, you know, a saucy uh, dish over it. So you don't want it overly seasoned, um, but it, it's good just like that. Okay, so now that I'm at a rolling simmer, I'm gonna top it up, make sure you have a good fitting top, and then I'm gonna lower it to a medium low for the 15 minutes. We're back and we're ready. This is 15 minutes later. Ta-da! Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful this is. Turning off the heat and I'm pulling it off the heat. And it is just beautiful. You just let it cool for a little while. Boom. I can't taste it. So I'm gonna let you taste it. Ta, watch your mouth. Mm, amazing. Well, I hope you guys give this a try. Bobby, leave the onion out. Don't leave it out, take it out. Make cut it big and then take it out. Everybody else leave it in. <laughs> um, from my kitchen to yours. Hope you enjoy, make it your own. See you guys on the next video.